Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I will unbox and review two iconic wireless accessories from Apple, the Magic Mouse and the Magic Keyboard. Let's find out together if these well-known almost timeless accessories for Mac are still the best on the market today and if you should still buy them in 2023. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So let's start with the unboxing of the Magic Keyboard from Apple. The white package includes the product itself, a USB-C to lightning cable and a starter guide. I think soon Apple will also start removing the lightning cable from Magic Accessories boxes as they are already removing headphones from iPhone boxes. Actually, Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard are pretty good value Apple products because you are getting two new braided lightning to USB-C cables. The price of such cable is $20 in the US, so just by buying these two accessories you are getting two free cables. You can put one of them in your backpack and the second one in your car, so you can always have a cable with you. That's what I did and it's super handy. Magic Keyboard feels literally like magic and I love how easy it is to start using it. Just find the keyboard in the Bluetooth menu of your Mac and click connect. Voila, you are ready to work. Apple Magic Keyboard is a classic membrane keyboard with Apple scissor switches. These scissor switches are surprisingly pleasant to press on. The keys require over 60 grams of force to operate. Magic Keyboard provides a responsive key press without all the cons commonly found on low-profile keys like on some MacBooks with a butterfly mechanism. The Apple Magic Keyboard is a low-profile wireless keyboard made for office and productivity use, but it lacks extra features like backlighting and programmable keys. Its sleek, minimalist design is great for those looking for a clean, wireless setup. However, it's only fully compatible with Apple products as some keys aren't functional when used with Windows or Linux. The unit I have purchased is a compact model, but there is a full-size variant available that includes a numeric keypad. The Apple Magic Keyboard is very good for basic use. It provides a good typing experience and makes very little noise, which is great for working in a noise-sensitive environment like an office. It doesn't have any incline settings or an included wrist rest, but its low profile makes it comfortable to type on even for long periods. Also, Magic Keyboard is a very good choice for those using a Mac computer, iPad or even iPhone. I really enjoy the slim compact design which takes up little space on your desk and ensures easy access to all the keys. Although I really dislike the lack of backlit on the wireless keyboard, especially while working at night. I bought this little Magic Keyboard mostly to work on my MacBook Pro with a closed lid and my external 28 inches monitor. But there is also a model with Touch ID button. But since I have an Apple Watch, I don't really use Touch ID anyway. Apple Watch automatically unlocks my Mac, so no need to spend some extra money for the Touch ID feature. Now time for Magic Mouse. Despite all the urban legends, Steve Jobs didn't invent the computer mouse, but he was responsible for popularizing them. The original Magic Mouse was revolutionary, incorporating a Broadcom Bluetooth chipset, an enhanced laser sensor and never-before-seen gesture controls. The Magic Mouse today still retains the same shell and basic functionality as the original released back in 2009. Even if the Magic Mouse has lost much of its magic since 2009, the iconic peripheral still has some good qualities. The laser sensor is highly accurate on most surfaces. The simple and sleek design is exceptionally good looking. But even with these features in mind, the Magic Mouse starts to feel a little bit like an outdated peripheral. But for some basic usage, it's still very good and there are no better wireless mouse for Mac users than Apple's own Magic Mouse 2. It is simple to use, simple to pair with your computer, simple to charge, you can use your standard lightning cable, it will be more than enough for most of the people out there. The Magic Mouse syncs with your Mac or iPad. Simply take it out of the box, turn on Bluetooth pairing and your Apple device 
will recognize it near instantaneously. More importantly, the Magic Mouse is very reliable, never skipping out or losing connection while paired. Although I'm a minimalist, comfort and ergonomic functionality come before aesthetic design. Sadly, it seems like Apple placed all their emphasis on simplicity without a second thought for comfort and ergonomics. Frankly, it's not very comfortable, but it's a question of habit. This low-profile design might be a problem for some people. You have to try it before buying. Magic Trackpad is another cool wireless accessory. Actually, Apple's Magic Trackpad is probably the best trackpad on the market ever. We can love or hate Apple, but their trackpads are literally the best of the best. If you own a MacBook, you already have a built-in 4-touch giant trackpad. That's my case, so I don't have to purchase it separately. The trackpad is very handy, especially for web browsing. In theory, it can replace the Magic Mouse, but I like to have alternatives. For example, Magic Mouse is better for working in Final Cut and editing videos. Trackpad is better when typing text or web browsing. If I would have to keep just one device, I would prefer Magic Trackpad, because it can act as a Magic Mouse. How to add more custom gestures on Magic Mouse, Magic Trackpad and Magic Keyboard? Gestures on the Magic Mouse are very limited. Apple does not offer by default to use all the potential of these devices. But thanks to a third-party app called Better Touch Tool, you can create custom gestures for your Magic accessories. For the Magic Mouse, first of all, I configured one finger tap as a click option. That way, I don't have to physically click or press the mouse to perform right or left click. I can just tap or touch the Magic Mouse like on my trackpad. I have no idea why Apple is not willing to include this as a standard option for the Magic Mouse. Anyway, Better Touch Tool app gives you such option. Kinda cool. I like it. I configured three fingers double tap to lock the screen of my Mac. Two finger double tap to quickly open finder, super handy gesture, pinch in and pinch out to open the launch pad, etc. By the way, I made a separate video about this app, check it out if you're interested, the link will be in the description. Your custom gestures are limited only by your imagination. Verdict. Should you buy it? Apple's accessories always synced and performed flawlessly within its own ecosystem. If you swear by Apple's products, you'll enjoy the Magic Mouse low-profile design, overall accuracy and excellent battery life. You may be a little bit disappointed by the sluggishness, but it should get the job done. Magic Mouse and the Magic Keyboard look great. They are very well designed and the build quality is really good. I know people who are using even the first generation of Magic Mouse and it still works perfectly. Feature-wise, by default, these Magic accessories are very limited, but you can easily customize gestures thanks to Better Touch Tool app. If you are not a hardcore Apple enthusiast, I encourage you to stay away. Nowadays, there are much better options at a similar price. Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard are more expensive than other alternatives on the market today, but you can regularly find them on sale on Amazon or some other e-commerce platforms. Thanks for watching, if you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content, don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well, see you later on YouTube, bye bye.